Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux in YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Python, that how we can install and set up Python on our Linux Mint system. And moreover, we will see that what are the best editors for Python and how we can change the editor themes. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the text editor and list down the things that what we are going to do today. So the first thing that we are going to do is how to install setup and get started with python. All right. And the second thing is what are the python editors? And the third is how we can change themes of Python editors. All right, so let's start it. First of all, fire up the terminal. We will use different commands here to download and install Python. These commands are available in the description of this video. So you can copy and paste from there. So first of all, we have to update the repository. So type the command sudo apt update hit enter the system is prompting for the password enter your password here all right the repository is updated so now we can install python write the command sudo apt install python so by default, it will install Python 2. And if you want to install Python 3, then write 3 here. So we are going to install Python 3 in this demo. Hit enter. You can see that Python is already in the newest version. So the idea is that Linux Mint 19.3 comes with already equipped with latest version of Python 3. If you do not have Python 3 installed on your Linux Mint due to any reason, then it will install Python on your system. If you want to check the installed version of Python, then you can do it by using this command Python 3 double hyphen version. So now let's open the Python console on terminal and try to run some commands. Right here Python 3 hit enter. So you can see that the terminal is basically changed to the Python console. So we are going to print hello world here. Print hello world. And yes, it is printed. Now let's print hello Linux hint audience. Hello Linux Hint audience. In the similar way, we can have two variables and we can have some of these variables. So A is equal to two, B is equal to three. And if you want to print the sum of these variables, like print A plus B. And similarly, we can subtract it. So like A is equal to 10 b is equal to 5 if you want to work with the longer scripts then you can use the python editors there are like there are multiple python editors available so in this demo we will see top three python editors and see that how they actually work so the number one editor is gonna be pycharm and the pycharm is opened here so let's create a new Python file here. Right click here. Click on new Python file. Enter the name of the file here, whatever you want. Like script and hit enter. So you can see that the newly created script Python file is opened here in the PyCharm. So let's print the hello world here. Print hello world and we can run this file by clicking here on this run button 
So here is the output in the console of PyCharm and we can see that it has printed hello world here. Similarly, we can print the sum of two variables here. So let's do it. So the number one variable is number one, assign a value to this variable. Second variable is number two and assign a value like 20 to this. And uh, if you want to print the sum of these two variables, like write print here, the sum is number one plus number two. So now let's run it. And you can see here that it has printed hello world along with the sum and the sum is 30. So let's see here that how we can change the themes of Python editors, which is basically the point number three of today's discussion. So if you want to change the theme of PyCharm editor, go to files, open up the settings, select this option appearance and uh, you have like multiple themes here. So if you want to update your theme to high contrast, so select here and click on apply. And the theme is updated. And similarly, we can have another theme. So now we will see the idle editor for Python. And if you do not have idle editor already installed on your Linux Mint system, then you can install it by this command sudo apt get install idle3. Enter your system password here. Uh, you can see that I have already installed the idle3 on my Linux Mint system. And if you do not have idle3 on your system, then it will be installed by this command. So now go to the app menu, search for the idle and uh, open it. It works like a terminal. So let's try to run a couple of commands here on this editor. First of all, print hello world here on this editor. Hello world. Hit enter. And uh, you can see that it has printed the hello world here. So it works like uh, more similar to the terminal. And we can also sum couple of variables here. So let's do that. A is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, and C is gonna be 30. And if we want to print the sum of these variables, write print here, A plus B plus C. And you can see that the value is 60, which is actually the sum of these variables. We can have multiple themes for this editor. So if you want to change the theme of this idle editor, then go to options, click on configure idle, go to the highlights. And uh, here we have multiple themes like idle classic, idle dark and idle new. So choose whatever you want, which is suitable for you. So I'm choosing idle new here, click on apply. You can see that the theme is updated successfully. So in this way, you can use this editor and uh, update the themes of this editor. So let's see another editor for Python, which is the spider editor. So search for the spider three here in the app menu. Spider three, or you can open it by using the terminal. If you have already installed this IDE on your Linux Mint system. So how we can open it in the terminal, write spider3 here and hit enter. So this is the spider IDE for Python. So here you can write the Python commands and uh, on this side we have console for this editor. And if you want to create a new Python file, then go to file, click on new and uh, the new file is created. So let's print hello world here, print hello world. So you can run this script by clicking here on this run button. 
So first of all, we have to save this newly created file and uh, let me give a name to this file, file1, alright. And select Python file here and click on save. And you can see that the output is printed on the console which is basically the hello world. And similarly, we can change the themes and update the themes on this editor. So go to tools, select preferences. So here we have different options and select the third option which is basically syntax coloring. And yes, here we have multiple themes for this editor and select whatever is appropriate for you. So let's try this. All right, click on apply. Click on OK and the theme is updated. I hope you found this video useful for installing and getting started with the Python on your Linux Mint system. So keep following us on the Linux in YouTube channel and do not forget to subscribe it for more useful videos about Linux. Thank you.